And now I know the next question that logically comes to mind is, will all of this cold weather stop me from getting crawfish? Well, once Avery defrosted, he went to the experts to get the answer. If you live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, there's only one place to go for the freshest seafood around, and that's here at Tony's Seafood on Plank Road. You know, all year long, you're going to find fresh shrimp, fresh crab, but only right now will you start to find fresh boiled crawfish, and it's the best around. The best crawfish in town. She knows it. There's only one problem with the crawfish here at Tony's. There isn't enough coming in from the ponds, and what's getting here is, well, a bit on the small side. Co-owner Bill Pizzolatto says he usually sees about 150 sacks of crawfish a day here in early February. This truck had 15. Bill, I know this is what you're getting a lot of. That's what you want, isn't it? That's right. Uh, with all the cold weather we've been having, we're getting kind of a mixed bag of crawfish right now. But uh, all we need is a little sunshine and warm weather, and it can change within within a couple weeks. So to find out a little bit more about the biology of the crawfish, why they're so small right now, and why they don't move around with the cold, I come to the expert, Dr. Robert Romare. Thanks for joining us over My here pleasure. at the LSU Ag Center. Tell me, you've been to Tony's before. How's the crawfish over there? Been to Tony's many times as a consumer, as a customer, as a professor to take students there, and the Pizzolatto family does a wonderful job of cooking and producing crawfish. While Tony's employees put crawfish into boiling hot water to get them ready to eat, yeah, this is it for them right here. Dr. Romare reminds me that crawfish are cold-blooded crustaceans. Basically, when the water temperatures get real cold, their metabolism slows down, and the crawfish simply in essence, go into suspended animation. They simply don't move, they don't feed, they don't grow. And as a consequence, we really have a difficult time catching them. And Romare says if these crawfish are not eating, they have no reason to go for the bait in the traps. Compared to the last two years, Romare says water temperatures in crawfish ponds have been about 10 degrees lower this winter. Although 10 degrees Fahrenheit may not sound very much to us as humans, to a crawfish and its effect on water temperature and their movement and catch, it's dramatic. Pizzolatto says there's also a dramatic difference in price. By the time you transport, transport them back from the rice fields to here, it's going over $4 a pound. Uh, right now we're getting $5.49 a pound on boiled crawfish, which last year this time was probably in a range of around $3.79 a pound to $3.99 a pound. So it's about a dollar and a half more this time uh, this year than it was last year. Now, because I'm allergic to shellfish, I had to lean on Neil Malawson to test the quality of Tony's crawfish to see if they're worth the price. Full of juice. <laughs> Neil ate three more pounds of crawfish after that taste, and he, like many of us, may have been spoiled by the crawfish seasons of the past. We had three great years of crawfish starting in January and February early. This is one year that's gonna be a little bit slower starting, but we think it's gonna be there. I spoke with two crawfish farmers on the phone, Jeff Duran over there in St. Martin Parish and John Compton over in Jeff Davis. Both told me that the problem with a late start to crawfish season is that they can't really make it up on the back end. Crawfish season ends every year in July. So Kristen, despite the higher prices they're getting now, it's not like they're gonna see that through the whole season. And it's not like they can really make up that, that loss at the beginning. Well, I really hope that the temperatures start to level out because I really want some crawfish. I wanted them last week, but you couldn't get them. No, you can't get them, and they're, they're really, really tough to find, and they're really, really small what's out there. But as Dr. Romare said in the story, all you have to do is wait for maybe two weeks of warm temperatures. They're going to start to come up out and get a little active and start eating and start molting and start growing, and then we all have good crawfish to eat except for me because I'm allergic. But anyway, enough about that. Well, it's your loss and everyone else's gain. <laughs>